Will he be in shape for December return concert? Hi, I'm Debbie. Vibes Cartel declares his innocence and claims musical paternity for a new generation of DJs. Saying sorry not sorry, the ever-controversial dancehall star answers his critics and dismisses the voice notes. Vibes Cartel. Vibes Cartel. The Vibes Cartel. The Vibes Cartel. Adija Jaheen Palmer. The Solitary Lockdown. Vibes Cartel. Well, I'm going to Cartel at the top of his game, then all of a sudden, jail. 13 years and an acquittal later. The only thing I could have said is a surreal feeling, you know? More time I have to pinch her to find out if it's just for Sir Jano. I wonder if I dream or dream. The Rampin' Shop DJ's dream coming through on July 31st. A crowd cheering Cartel as he walked out of the general penitentiary, but many remarking on his appearance. Are you unwell? What do the doctors say? Well, them say never think me Graves disease, but we're not ready for the grave. So we just call it hyperthyroidism, you know? In the first stages, we used to sweat a lot. We used to have some little hand tremor, yeah, and it, it would swell up my eye, give me allergies. Prison pics revealing a cartel with facial swelling and a protruding midsection. A far cry from the cartel of old. Matter of fact, it's not only treatable, it's curable. So that's why we're going to fly out now. We're going to meet up with some high tech team. We possibly will go St. Vincent, Cuba, Switzerland. You know, we have some places where we're going we're to seek out the best treatment possible. How sensitive are you about the physical changes? No, I don't feel sensitive about it. I want to with me, Mr. Miller. If determination were a person, See, no? But you're all covered up now, so you must be a little sensitive. No, I'm not sensitive, I'm the style. I remember, you know, if you go for my TikTok, you're going to see me without cover. As a matter of fact, I'm going to become the advocate for, for Graves' disease. It's just been a week. He still can't absorb his enormous change of fortune. Walking out to see so many fans waiting for Vibes Cartel cheering vibes cartel it was an amazing feeling the one week coming like a one minute because i still not process everything even this morning me and my fiance are driving me have to take out my phone and make a video and say i this freedom feel like yeah man because me i tell you something still can't process it when i wake up in the morning i say yo me i wait for the key shit. it's like the institutionalized mentality still not come out but trust me, freedom feel good. <laughs> what do you want to say to your legions of supporters as well as those still not convinced of your innocence? Well, first of all, I say to me, my supporters them, enough love, God's and nation. Thanks for the support, for them by my side, cheer for me. Make me feel the love there and the appreciation there. Give me hope, you know, so God's and nation forever. To the people them who say me guilty. Right now, me too busy and make money in Mr. Miller for worry about them opinion, you know. Me too busy with my fiance, me too busy with my kids, with my two grandchildren them, for even I think about haters. That are the answer for them. Sorry, not sorry. Vibes Cartel is a kind of dance hall folk hero. Many were on your side from the start of that trial. Others heard those voice notes and were chilled to the bone. They say he's lucky to be a free man today. What do you say? The law is the law and the constitution is the constitution. And if we now work with Wagwan in the court, better we we'll go back to the medieval days then, where we have an eye for your eye and we do a little thing on the street. Apart from that, anything with the court say, I don't have to work with. So he's an innocent man. That's it. His Gaza nation standing by cartel from the get-go. Free world boss, their mantra. Many, however, just as vocal that he got what he deserved. Because some people would have said, hubris overcame Vibes Cartel. He just didn't want to be the most famous 
and popular DJ in Jamaica, he wanted to be a crime boss. No, I don't want to be a crime boss. You know what I mean? Remember, I put more we come from Waterford, so we're being grow rough, you know. But certainly, I have nothing to do with crime boss. It's just that things go ear wire, and you know, with the help of God and with the help of my lawyer, I sat with Canon and him team, you know, we set things straight and things. But now, nah, we don't run down for being a crime boss. Remember, we're smart and know we're crime boss. End up, you know, that was never our goal. Fuck me up, still in the Fuck Hartel, famous as the lyrical DJ, but also famously fast on his feet and quick witted. He's a smart guy. He's a very calculated person. He knows what he is doing. How did you go from being the most popular DJ in Jamaica to a DJ who was sentenced to life in prison? I don't mean I did system. Because if the system did I run right from initially, how did they have prison? Because I think about this. Them send me to prison for circumstantial evidence, at best, which was tampered with. Circumstantial evidence that alone can send nobody to prison. Plus the evidence tamper with. If I did a regular youth in, in Ghana and he had a long time, I threw a fight cartel. You know, see how that privy council show them. There's nothing in the case. What is so special about the case? People have said justice for lizard. Them don't know lizard. And a justice for lizard. A crucifixion for cartel that them did a chance. How do you explain the voice notes? I don't have to explain it because I'm free. Oh, you know what I mean? You see, pre? think about this. We see one of unknown youth, regular ghetto youth, come before the system for murder. Double murder, triple murder, rape, kill, picnic, everything, and them get bail. Why Vibes Cartel couldn't get bail? Where Vibes Cartel did like a run go? Don't run! Did you give up hope at any point? No time, you know, so I make sure I send for my woman from foreign. A two year now she there. So think. What is it to be a burden? For a moment, or a week? or a lifetime. Well, that's like asking, what is it to be free? To be Chinook winds in flight over mountain peaks, or northern lights dancing till new morning dawn. To be glacial waters gracefully raging, or unbridled horses charging. To be perfect. What about that? Yes, baby. Even the biggest UV where you see park out there, so I buy that about three months ago. From me, I'm in a prison, I stay and buy it. That's how sure I mean what that may have to come around. But it's 13 years in prison at some point. Don't you lose hope? No, never. I tell you that. I can't swear for my mother's life. No, what kind of lose hope? Remember in Anthony, we are not done, you know. So we are you to read and we understand. And from me, read my transcript. All right, may I tell you something. May I have a tattoo on my face. The people that must see it and I wonder what is a clause in the transcript, 238. For me to see that, I know that I have to bust my case. And the Privy Council, I eat the Privy Council, pick up pan and say, no nah, man, this can't work. Tampa jury, and you make that continue? No nah, man, that could work. Plus other things, them breach my rights, breach my freedom of privacy, all the things they do. So I know that technically, I have to work. It was just a matter of when. The haters and the bad mind people is just as much motivation for me as the fans. Because me, now nah, I'm make nobody laugh off a cartel, so cartel live in a prison, or dead in a prison. So the bad mind people them was just as much a motivation to Vibes Cartel as the fans were. We never have one day where we disappear. How did you fill time otherwise though? Because what do you do in prison? You wake up in the morning, them fly you about 10 o'clock, you come out from the block, you hold a bed, you have your them there, they are reason and I will have vibes till 12 o'clock, you lock down, then 2 o'clock, you come out back for your next hour and a half, and then when you lock down 3 o'clock, you now sit back outside till the morning again. So, you don't know, we have to just find things to do read, write, watch TV, listen to music, talk to my loved one, them. That was it. That's how I spent my time. But what was your worst moment in prison? 
So I mean, I have a lot of worse moments in prison, I can't tell you straight. Like, when we just go to prison, there's a feeling there, it was a wicked feeling, you know? Then, when we lose my appeal, that was also a wicked feeling. My grandmother dead when I was in prison. Cairo Jones' grandmother dead when we were in prison. Andrea St. John's mother dead when we were in prison. So it was just all my dog dead. Benton, all right, Pete, to my pit bull. And every time my woman come visit me and she go away, the feeling there, yeah, man, that. Carter's lady mopping his bro during the interview. Sedem asked her attentive and very shy, a fan from afar. She come from England, London to be exact, born in a Turkey, so you know she had a Thanksgiving. And me and I were tried for, for a longer time, and my sister, she, she real to the thing. I finally convinced her to come and take on. You know, she pack her bags and she lift up. Even though her family, now them supportive and them call them sister, I real, me are real would. But them time there, and understandably, any, any family would be like, you go to Jamaica, to a man who in a prison. No, man. So 